Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So, I haven't really made a video. Yeah, so a few quick things. Uh, like I said, I haven't uh, posted a video in quite a while, so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, also, for this barn tour, I changed a lot of the names, and I think these are the names I'm just going to keep now. Um, half because it's just been so long, and half because I didn't like a lot of the names, and I really just wanted to find ones that I really liked. So, if you're wondering why they're different, if you were... Um, subscribe before or seen a previous video then that is why and if you were subscribed before and you've come back oh my god thank you <laughs> but yeah anyway let's get started this is peppermint ridge stables here's our sign our little entrance um and right to the right of the entrance is our pasture so you see there's a little uh, chain gate and in the pasture right now is chance and she is one of our lesson ponies here very very cute and around the pasture we have a couple little plants which um, I'm really trying to add more like greenery to my barn because I just see other barns like that and I think it's so cool so I've added these little like trees um, but hopefully I'll get some more like flowers and stuff that'd be awesome but yes we have those little guys very cute we have a little water tub for the horses and then there's just a couple hay bales back there as well and then our first stall around here holds Ash and he does dressage here and here's Ash's owner this is Diana and she's just saying hello to him and he has a little uh, hay feeder and a little jolly ball back there too that jolly ball has been there literally forever <laughs> it's probably really dusty but yeah I also added this nice like chain here. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. So we, this door can be open and um, he's not running out. Yeah, and then sharing this little two stall barn with Ash is Sierra. And Sierra is tied up right now because her stall is getting cleaned out by her owner, Jenna. And uh, Jenna's just sweeping out the stall and then she's gonna add some new bedding which is in that wheelbarrow there and these stalls they have little name plates so Ash has one and Sierra has one and then this is Ash's tack box and then over here we just have a little area that has our uh, peppermint ridge stables logo and then a little whiteboard with some messages on there and then we have our little cat this is Patches and she's just sitting on the bench here stretching and then we have a little flower pot and this is like a single stall they hold Zori she's super cute I really want to get cosmic one the little foal so that I can have the little foal in here with her because I think that'd be so adorable and this stall is nice and big so it could easily hold those two she has a little water bucket and a little hay feeder as well and she also has the luxury of having a little um, name plate with a little name in it, very cute. And then we also have a little hook on the side of the stall here with her halter in it. She also has a little turnout in the back, which I really like now because you could kind of like walk around and if she's out there people could come see her. And that's just a little like warning horses may bite, so maybe they won't want to see her. But um. Yeah, she's a little nippy. She's thoroughbred. Um, yeah, and then we have a little, another little tree here, which um, I just got these, so I haven't done this yet, but I want to paint like this below part brown, so make it a little more realistic. And then now we have our feed room. Uh, this feed room, I still have to finish the walls, but like the floor and the inside uh, stuff is done. And in our feed room right now, we have Celia. And she's just getting um, hay bale here because um, there's no hay in the pasture. And she wants to feed some of the horses in there. And also in our feed room we have 
feed bins, um, just some like empty buckets, this cute little table with a little um, scooper on and some supplements and then just a couple like just like little medication stuff. It's more like a specific feeds for like specific issues. A uh, big feed bag, some carrots and some oats. And then following Celia around, we have um, Bailey. Bailey's our little uh, Jack Russell Terrier, she's super cute. And then next to the feed room, we have one of our open stalls. This is Lee, and Lee is owned by Celia, who's in the feed room right now. And Lee has a little tack box up here, as well as a little like corner feeder with some oats in it. And I want to put more of these corner feeders in the other stalls, but I don't really eat yogurt. <laughs> That's where I get the corner feeders from, the little like Chobani flips, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but yeah, um, I need to get more of those because I think they're super, super cute. Um, yeah, so he has that. He also has the little like chain like stall guard, um, which is how I do most of my stalls now. And then this is my little pony barn. It's a very, very little barn. Um, just two stalls. But yeah, this is, um, I renovated it a little bit. So now there's actually some like walls. Before it was just all um, poles. But now I added in some walls. And also the top can like come off so I can like get in there. Um, I didn't like glue it down. So yeah. I really like this barn. It was like one of my first um, popsicle stick barns. <laughs> and actually, I should ask you guys this because a couple of you on the last video um, asked for a tutorial on the popsicle stick barns, which I'll totally do. But um, I'm guessing you guys were talking about this one. But um, yeah, so just let me know in the comments again, like which barn you'd like to see, and I'll definitely do that. Anyway, <laughs> and this style is Shenai. And she is, again, one of our lesson ponies. And then this stall is for um, Chance. So this is like the little lesson pony barn. Um, I didn't already say that. They both have little water buckets. And then Chance has a little feeder in the back, a little corner feeder. And then Shunai right now is just eating out of a little bucket back there. So that is that barn and oh I forgot on top we just have some storage I'm trying to decide if I want to put like a little roof on this barn or not because I do put some stuff on the top but we'll see I might just I don't know <laughs> we'll see um, anyway and then we have a little um, birdhouse it should be more like that but yeah very cute <coughs> this area is empty for now but I kind of want to build like a little wood barn here I don't know. Tell me what you guys think if I put like um, two stalls on each side like facing each other. I think that'd be a cool thing to do with this area. But yeah, so we'll see about that. And then this area of the barn, you guys definitely haven't seen before, I don't think. But um, I'm excited to show you that. It's very unfinished. You'll see a lot of like cardboard and stuff. But yeah, so this first stall, um, you'll see him in a bit. But this is Mouse's stall. And he has a little sliding door that I made, which is <laughs> a little stuck, <laughs> but very cute. And he is again like a little chain stall guard still. Uh, this stall, I still have to figure out what I'm doing with the roof and everything, but otherwise mostly done. And this is Mouse's little tack box, as well as a little grooming kit there. Very cute. Um, and then this stall, I don't think you've seen this girl before. This is Arrow and her little full um, Artemis, I think I named her. But yeah, they're really cute. I have a little bucket. This is Arrow's little halter. But yeah, so I've definitely not done very much with this stall. I think I'll do the typical popsicle stick madness that <laughs> I usually do. But yeah, there and there. And then next we have Captain Stall, which again, you'll see him later. Um, and I think maybe if I was to do a tutorial, I could do it on his stall too. Okay, so next we have the tack room. Once again, you guys haven't really seen this, and once again, it is not finished. 
but I did paint the walls like kind of mint green and I apologize about the lighting it's making it look kind of dismal but um yeah and I did some nice like hardwood flooring but I still haven't finished the windows or the outside what I kind of want to do is carefully move this um put little like I don't know what they're called, but you know those little things that like hold the flowers right outside the windows? I really want to put that. I think that'd be cool to do on the outside. But anyway, um, <laughs> I keep talking about like my future plans. Sorry. But we have a little box that just holds, I think some like, yeah, just some clothes, which I'm smushing now. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and then we have a big cluster of all of our bridles and halters and lead ropes and everything right there. <laughs> so we'll get some hooks on the walls for all that stuff. But for now, it's just in a massive pile, so I'm sorry. Um, that's going to be a door back there. It opens. <laughs> then over here, we have a little shelving unit with a little trophy and some, um, sorry, a hoof pick and a little brush. And then we have some... Uh, little things on the back wall there for the saddles and then we have a little uh, toolkit down there and then over here we have some more saddle stands back there it's all of our blankets just piled on top of each other <laughs> Sorry, it's really hard to see um, over here is just more stuff <laughs> yeah and then we just have all of our helmets and hats and everything here so <laughs> Yeah, I have to do a little bit of organizing in this room, but I'm really like liking how it's um, looking so far. And then I've been in this area, <laughs> trying not to knock over any of the dolls, the struggle. <laughs> but this is our arena, and here's another one of our new horses, Captain. And he's getting lunged by the owner of the barn, um, Lauren. So she's just lunging him. He's super cute. I really love him. Got some poles down. And then we just have all of our storage kind of jumbled up in the back there. And then this is Michaela, who I think I did. There you go. I pushed her over a little bit. But she's just watching Captain because he's the new horse at the barn. And she's very interested in him. And she does lessons on Shanai mostly. And they do a little jumping together. And then over here we have our wash stall. And this is Amanda. And she's giving Mouse a little bath. And this wash stall has a little place for your saddle, your blankets, or just like anything really. Lead rope, halter, bridle. Could hang on there. Um, we have some like little soap. Hoof pick, a little like curry comb back there. So those are the little shelves. And then we have the little area um, for the cross ties, which I finally put in. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was just super cute. There's a little leather halter on. And there's a little weed rope that matches. There's also a hose back there on that hook. So that's the wash stall. It's outdoors right next to the arena just for like convenience purposes so if you need to like tack up your horse or anything you could do that and we have a little message board it's empty right now and a garden which has some carrots growing in it and some cabbage and then there's just some vegetables that were picked in that little container and I think that's everything so definitely let me know what you guys think of the new setup and if you guys do want that um, tutorial on the popsicle stick little stalls, then uh, let me know and I'll for sure do that for you guys. And also if you have your own barn tour, I think this would be fun if you could leave like a link or something down below in the comments and I'll for sure check it out. And then also if other people want to check it out too, I think that'd be fun. So yeah, if you'd like to do that, then you can put it in the comments down below. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a fun time seeing my barn, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!